Merry Meet YouTube. Uh, yes, this is once again a two video day. Uh, so I'm wearing the same outfit. Please forgive me. Uh, today we have one of our subscription boxes and this is one that I'm always excited to get because it comes all the way from, pardon my bad British, across the pond. <laughs> uh, this comes from Jolly Old England and the only subscription box that I get from Jolly Old England is Freya's Cauldron. And that is a wonderful subscription box. They do amazing stuff. So you get first peek. And of course, the packing peanuts are already attacking me. So let's get rid of some of those before we continue. So I've noticed that this box is a little lighter than I normally receive from Freya's Cauldron, but that's not a big deal. Just because it's lighter does not mean it's not full of all kinds of wonderful goodies. So the first thing we have is the list of supplies, and I'm already, throwing, you've seen this before, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. So the first thing we get is... Uh, an information pamphlet. I love these from Freya's Calder, and this one is on Beltane. Uh, so it includes uh, the fire festival, so a description of Beltane, trivia, ritual for Beltane, and then of course my favorite part being a cook and a quasi baker. I like to bake at home. I don't consider myself a professional in any way. Uh, Sabat cookies and Beltane brownies. Ooh, brownies. Anything with chocolate? I'm totally there. The second thing that we have is another little, just a little pamphlet, uh, simply on the Beltane ritual itself. So that is really cool. So Freya's Cauldron, Witchcraft, Supplies and Gifts, The Spellkeeper's Chest. Welcome to the April subscription box. We have now completed our first year of the wheel with the sub boxes and we have been trying to decide if we should continue to put the sabbat boxes in the relevant months as a few who have been with us since the start will already have them. So many of you have requested them to continue so we are pleased to say that we will do just that. That's wonderful because I don't have them all so and once I start getting duplicates, I have a group of friends that I can always pass them on to. So that that's going to be cool that they're going to continue to do that. We've also been asked if our boxes will be the same as the month last year, and the answer to that is no. We will, of course, still include some Sabat supplies in the relevant boxes, but we will not be duplicating any of the other items, so the boxes will continue to be different. Anyway, without further delays, here are what we have for you this month. And then it goes into the list of items, which I will keep handy. But I will not look at because, you know me, I like to be surprised. And the first thing we see... Oh, yay! Is patchouli incense cones. Probably one of my favorite incenses. Very clean, very refreshing, very relaxing. So that is wonderful. I love getting the patchouli. And our next item is what looks like a necklace. And so I'm going to take it out here so that we can actually see it. Yes, it is a necklace. And it is actually a absolutely beautiful. Yeah, when she doesn't turn your ba her back to you. Absolutely beautiful angel who apparently just wants to turn her back to you. <laughs> so that is absolutely lovely. And so we will, we have that. And I don't wear a lot of jewelry, uh, but I have friends, and so these make wonderful little gifts for the friends of mine who do wear jewelry. All right, our first herb of the month is mugwort 
We've received this before in other subscription boxes. Let's see what this says about the mugwort and about the... Okay, so the mugwort, planet Venus, element Earth, deities Artemides and Diana, powers, strength, psychic power, protection, prophetic dreams, healing, astral projection. Mugwort is burned with sandalwood or wormwood during scrying rituals. It is also carried to increase lust and fertility. Wow. Well then, that may come in handy. And almost spilled my next herb here, which is maiden hair. This is one that I'm not familiar with. I haven't heard of before. Has a very earthy scent to it. So let's see what it says about that. Maiden hair. Planet Venus again. Element water. Deity Venus. Powers beauty, love, fertility, protection, healing, wisdom. If worn on the person or kept in the bedroom, it will grant you grace, beauty, and love. Carry to aid fertility and everlasting love. I'm seeing a trend here. And we actually have a third one. And this is one of the reasons I love Freya's Cauldron. Is This is a premixed Beltane herb mix. Lovely. So that can be used during the actual ritual. Let's see here. Herbs are so important in any Sabbat celebration, so a specifically blended Beltane herbs will come in useful and can be used in many ways, including adding to your rituals to increase the power, made into offerings to be hung or burnt on the Sabbat, made into gifts, and so much more. So that is wonderful. The next thing I see is what looks like a notepad. Um, it's a magnetic notepad. This is becoming a trend. The pentagram has long been believed to be a potent protection against evil. A symbol of conflict that shields the wearer and the home. So I'll just show you that each of the sheets has a beautiful little pentagram on the side there and a beautiful design so that is lovely wonderful notepad I'll get some use out of that I'm sure and so let's see what it says if anything about that uh, does not specifically mention the notepad that might just be an extra item we have, once again, our chime candles for the month. And it looks like we got yellow, green, and red. They always come in a pack of six, so you get two of each, which is really cool because those come in handy when you uh, comes time for the rituals for the month. This month we have chosen green, white, and yellow for the candles. This month for their association with Beltane, Festivals and ritual work. Green is associated with prosperity, money, fertility, abundance, good luck, harmony, and fairy magic. White is associated with the goddess, peace, protection, sincerity, truth, purification, happiness, moon magic, spirituality, strength, and cleansing. Yellow is associated with communications, activity, unity, brings power of concentration to a ritual, leadership, learning, productivity, creativity, health, Blessings, visions, and solar magic. Wow, that <laughs> that one's working hard. So our next item seems to be an altar tile. And this altar tile is actually specific to Beltane. Beltane blessings, that is absolutely lovely. So the Beltane Altar Tile. Graham has been designing for the box again, so this month we have put in a Beltane Altar Tile, which will be perfect to add to your altar for your Sabbat rituals. That is definitely lovely. I'm getting 
quite a collection for the various sabbats. So I have different things to use for the different sabbats when I do my altar for them, and that is absolutely wonderful. Our next item is our gem of the month, which is sodalite. And let's see what it tells me about sodalite. Sodalite Gemstone. Our stone for this month is a stunning sodalite tumble stone. A really beautiful stone that comes with a little booklet which lists some of the branching of properties and other useful information. And that's one thing I love about Freya's Cauldron. They don't just give you the gem or the crystal. They actually include a little booklet with all kinds of information. So you actually can learn something each and every month about the different gems that you get. So that is really cool. All right, our next item is a couple of vials. So they're plastic vials, and there are a couple of pipettes uh, to use with them. For And if you don't know what pipettes are for, you use them to uh, take oil or other liquids from one bottle and mix them into another bottle to create a potion or what have you. So that's really cool. Ooh, I did hear about this on uh, the Facebook group they have. Uh, so this is Blue Super Moon Salt. This is really cool. And um, one person had posted that it was in the box and they didn't know what to do with it or how to use it. So Freya's Cauldron was nice enough to actually put a um, post uh, with a couple of PDFs on how to use various salts, including blue super moon salt. So that is awesome, and I did download that, so now I've got an idea of what to do with that, and that's really cool. Oh, and here is the spell of the month, and it is a green man spell, so it is, the, it is definitely the green man's time of the year. I received a Green Man spell in another one of my boxes. comes with a green candle and it comes with all the instructions. Once again, a uh, trademark kind of thing of Freya's Cauldron. They always send you instructions on all their spells. Uh, other boxes do it, have, have been doing it as well, which is really cool for those of us who aren't exactly experts and are still learning. Alright, I just see a couple of more things. One of which is our oil of the month. And this month's oil is a sandalwood oil. So it is just a clear sandalwood oil. It has a muted smell to it. It doesn't smell a lot, but it doesn't have to. So sandalwood oil. Uh, sandalwood, our oils are used creating the finest grape, uh, using the finest grapeseed base and then blended with high quality essential oil and our oil for this month is perfect for using during the Sabbat. The essential oils can be used on their own as they have magical powers of their own or they can be blended with others to create a blend suitable for the intent you require. And that's where these little bottles and the pipettes will come in. So you can actually use these to create any kind of oil you want based on what oils you have and what intent you have. So that is really, really cool. Uh, for the pipettes, it says, as mentioned above, all essential oils have their own properties or can be blended together to create oil to suit your own intent. To help you with this, we have included two oil bottles and two pipettes to assist in the creation of your blend. So that is really awesome. They're thinking ahead. Uh, as to what we need and so that is really cool of them and last item in the box is this little white box and what do we oh my this is already I can see that this is absolutely lovely this is oh this is not something that I would buy for myself but I'm really thankful to get it it is a pill bottle. It is a little pill jar. 
and it's got a wolf on the front and it's it's a nice size this is this is something that you can use either for they like say as a pill bottle or you could use it to when you mix herbs for an intent like protection or whatever and you wanted to carry it around with you you could put this in your purse if you're a woman or if you're a gentleman and you have uh, an over-the-shoulder bag or what have you you can just put it in there and you know you can have what whatever kind of uh, intent or setup that you want with that uh, see what it says about this uh, it's a Lisa Parker or Ann Stokes trinket box we always ask for ideas for items to put into the boxes and many of you <laughs> say you would like items by Lisa Parker or Ann Stokes so this time we have a lovely ceramic box with stunning artwork which would be uh, a useful little altar pot like I said, as an altar pot or as a uh, one that you carry around with you and I'm just trying to see here it has an N uh, NT underneath so I'm not sure if this is a Lisa but I think this is a Lisa over an Ann like I say it's got that absolutely lovely um, wolf on the front which is gorgeous so that is everything that came in this box and once again I think that they've outdone themselves uh, this box in total with shipping for me as a Canadian if you're a Canadian cost me $71 so it is one of the two more expensive boxes uh, out of it's out of the three boxes I have uh, this one and the witches um, the witches moon are the two more expensive ones but once again I always say this I think they're worth it uh, with the exchange rate and everything and when you get in them and the shipping that it takes from Great Britain to Canada um, even though it takes more time than for people in Great Britain or, or some other places like in Europe um, it's well worth the, the money, it's well worth the wait. I'll put the link in the description below for their website. They've got some absolutely wonderful products on their website and they've got the subscription box. I highly advise you to take a look at them. Um, they're one of my, like, I have three that I'm keeping and, and this is definitely one of them. I have a standing recurring order every month. Um, for me, I haven't found that they do the three or six month subscription. It's just the month by month is how they do it. And so I've just set it up that every month it, uh, my PayPal automatically pays for the box and I just get it. It's something I don't even have to think about. And that's wonderful. Um, I look forward to it every month. They have really wonderful stuff in this box for the sabbats and for your altar and all of that so um, I advise you definitely go check them out they uh, I've, I've been in conversation with them when I've had issues and the issue has never been with them but with other other things like shipping etc so they've always been able to answer my questions and accommodate me um, so if I have any questions about their products or you have any questions about their products, definitely touch base with them. They're more than willing to talk about it and they are absolutely wonderful people to deal with. Uh, so that is it for this edition of Merlin's Magical Boxes. <laughs> and um, I look forward to when I see you again next month. Uh, until then, blessed be YouTube.